The advantages of digital wireless are undeniable, but operation out of the TV band and in the 2.4 gigahertz space leaves some users with unanswered questions. How can the two coexist without problems in the same space? Line 6 Digital Wireless was designed from the ground up to reliably work in the midst of a band crowded with Wi-Fi. And while they share the same space, they work in entirely different manners. Wi-Fi operates over 11 channels in the United States and up to 14 channels around the world. As you can see, consecutive Wi-Fi channels already overlap, and yet usually they can operate without difficulty. Line 6 Digital Wireless breaks its data up and in our RF1 mode distributes that data using four carriers, each with a different frequency, scattered strategically across the band. The data is then transmitted randomly across those four carriers. Typically, at least one of the Line 6 carriers is positioned in the guard band of Wi-Fi channels, and the others split over multiple Wi-Fi channels. This is repeated across our 12 user channels. Since Wi-Fi is transmitting digital information, ones and zeros, at any given time, it's often full of empty air, as you can see in the spectrograph outlined in the red. So if we turn the spectrograph and position it under a single channel of Wi-Fi, our data packets are switching to a new carrier channel in and out of Wi-Fi channels every 300 nanoseconds. Most of the time, these carriers will find an open space when they get there. But occasionally, our packet finds the space full, and that packet may be lost. But until a significant number of consecutive random packets are lost, we can air correct or conceal. Remember that this is data, not audio. This never becomes part of the audio signal. So what about interaction between Line 6 Digital Wireless and Wi-Fi? Well, it's all about power ratios and distances. If you can maintain about a 4 to 1 differential between the two, the impact on both systems should be negligible. However, if you position your Line 6 transmitters very close to the Wi-Fi antennas, the speed at which your Wi-Fi operates will likely be reduced. Likewise, if you place a Wi-Fi transmitter very close to a Line 6 receiver's antennas, it may overpower the receiver's ability to distinguish the Line 6 encrypted signal, and some muting may result. However, for those that must use older 2.4 gig Wi-Fi systems and can control their space, Line 6 offers RF2 mode. This mode uses two carriers to deliver the digital packets. The carriers are carefully spaced to work in concert with Wi-Fi channels. For using this mode usually requires careful selection of the Line 6 channels. Smartphone apps, the RF LEDs, and or using the scan mode in setup will help identify the correct channels to use along with your chosen Wi-Fi channel. The most used Wi-Fi channels are the non-overlapping 1, 6, and 11. The first five Line 6 channels are placed outside those Wi-Fi channels and should operate free of any influence from them. Additional sets of three channels can be selected once you have established your Wi-Fi channel. Line 6 Digital Wireless offers superior sound quality, easy setup, and as you can now see, reliable operation inside the crowded 2.4 GHz license-free ISM band.